In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some fancy little graphics like this. That's right, I've got the word fire with some flames built into it, and it looks really cool. And it's going to make your presentation or your e-learning course or your training or whatever it is just look better. Now, you could do this for anything, but, you know, I've done it for the word fire. So the way to do it, and I'll show you from the very beginning, I'll go nice and slowly, have a blank slide, go to insert, and we want to insert a text box. In that text box, type the word that you want. So you can see I've typed the word fire. What you need to do now, make it nice and big. So 96, definitely not big enough. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. That looks pretty big to me. I'm going to change the font. You want a nice thick font. So this one here is nice and thick. And if you make it even thicker, eh, Bolden doesn't make that one thicker. But it's perfect. It's what I want. Then the next step, so I've got the word, I've got the word fire. The next step is to go to insert and insert a picture. So it's either from this device or online pictures, doesn't matter, it's wherever the picture is. I'm going to go for online pictures. So I'll look for a picture of a fire. So if I look, this one here looks perfect. I'll click on it, I'll click insert. There we have it. Now you need to send this to the back. So I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to send to back. So we've got the image of the fire and I've got the word fire. Now what you need to do is click on both of these, so have them both selected at the same time. Make sure though, this is really important, make sure you click on the image first. So image, shift on the keyboard and then clicking on the word fire. I've got them both selected, but remember image first. Then at the top, go to tell me what you want to do, which is probably something you've never used before. But click on it and type in merge. Go merge shapes. And then in the menu there, you've got intersect. And there we have it. You've done it. You've got your word fire with flames going through it. Not only that though, because you've got this, you can then right click on it. You can save as picture. Make sure you save it as a PNG file. So there we go, PNG file. I've got fire one, because I've already got one called fire. I'll save it. And then if you open up something else, so I use Articulate Storyline to make my e-learning courses. You just go to Insert and go to Picture, but you could be doing this in Microsoft Word or whatever you wanted. I'll look for it. There you go, File 1, Open, and there we have it. That is how you put this really cool image, or text as the case is, or both, of the word Fire into your e-learning course. Or you could leave it in your presentation. Or as I say, let me just open up a word. There you go, now I've got a nice Word document open for you. Once again, I'm going to insert a picture from this device. Pictures, fire one, insert, and there you have it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll keep giving you these great top tips. Enjoy creating the word fire with a flame effect inside of it. Thank you.